Hey, today is November 27th, and this is today's chart. I once again did not uh, take any trades. I was very open to looking for swings. I didn't get, I didn't see any swings, um, and I didn't see any scalps. So that doesn't mean that they weren't there for more experienced traders, but I personally didn't see anything that that fit my criteria for now. So I didn't take anything. Um, but this video is about a, a change in in my approach uh, that I wanted to talk about and share on the channel. So this approach is kind of a combination of insights from two different industries. So Tim Ferriss often talks about trapping your thoughts on paper. So your mind is always wandering. There's a constant stream of thoughts. 95% of the time, it's not useful to what you're doing, but 5% of the time, you're going to have great ideas that are going to get lost in the mix. So if you're able to trap your thoughts on paper, um, you can go back and find those insights and use them to your advantage. So a lot of times when I'm analyzing a chart and I think I figured out something or something I want to remember, and I, I convince myself that I'll remember it when the time comes, but when I'm analyzing a chart in real time and I have to make a decision in five minutes, I don't remember what I realized two weeks ago on a random chart I was looking at and I don't even know where that chart is anymore. So I started getting in the habit of, as soon as I think about something important, I assume that I'm not gonna remember it and I write it down in a specific area and attach the pictures and attach all thoughts associated with that realization for later use. So that insight was from Tim Ferriss. The other insight comes from a trader um, whose name is Francis Hunt and he's a technical analyst and a trader and he talks about creating a trade plan that's so specific that you can give that paper with your trade plan on it to a random stranger and they should be able to trade your strategy profitably. And that means that you have to have such a deep understanding of your setup that you can write it down and verbalize it and give it to someone to follow your exact thought process and trade profitably. And I've been trying that exercise to try to put into words what I'm seeing and it's a lot harder than it seems and it really brings to light the fact that I don't really know exactly what I'm looking for. Sometimes it just looks kind of familiar and I'm trying to trade it. Whereas Francis Hunt is talking about knowing exactly what the bar should look like and what the pattern should look like and all the details of it so that you can verbalize it. And then if it doesn't look exactly how you've described it, then it doesn't meet the criteria for your trade. But doing that exercise really made it clear to me that I didn't really understand my setups as, as much as I should have. So that's why I started to combine those two insights and start writing down everything about my trade setup. So talking in detail about what the setup should look like, what I'm looking for. It's not as detailed right now as it's going to be uh, as I gain more experience and see more setups, but I'm trying to get at least get started writing down small details about my setup and also talking about different realizations and uh, different thoughts about the setups. And so writing down all these thoughts, writing down all the details, I feel um, has given me and uh, will continue to give me a better understanding of what I'm looking for and help me get into more trades and become more profitable. So thank you for watching. Let me know your ideas, your thoughts um, in the comments below. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.